The Components Toolbox is a place for you to store your skin elements because sometimes when you are building a skin, you might want to reuse or share a portion of that skin for other projects. When you first open the toolbox, you'll see all the available built-in components. And these elements are shipped with Pana 2 VR and they're free to use. So let's take a closer look. When you click on a component, you'll see information about it here, including a description and tags. So this one, I can see, uses the silhouette design, our SVGs, and their buttons. While this auto-hide menu uses the simplex design and uses a timer to hide elements once the mouse leaves them. If you can't see all the components, you can use this slider here to make them smaller. You can also adjust these panels so the preview is larger. To add a component to the skin, just double click it or drag it in. You can also add them using the context menu. I'm adding some navigation buttons, and actually, this will be the extent of the skin, so I'll center them and quickly change their color and then I'll save it. And then I'll add it to this project. And now I have a simple skin with a controller. Let's go back to the Components Toolbox and check out the rest of it. Here you can search all components by filtering via text and tags, which are just keywords. So for instance, I can search just the tags. I want to find all the components that are tagged with Pro. Great. Now I want to narrow that search using text, so I'll search for Next. Perfect. I want to add this component to my new skin. In the canvas, I'll move the buttons to the bottom right, anchor them there, and then I'll save the skin. I'll apply the skin to this Pana 2 VR Pro project I've started to work on. I'll output it and see how it works. There we go. It moves forward and backward through the tour. But the only problem now is that I'm stuck with the default hotspot images. I can easily fix this in the skin editor. So I'll open the skin again and I'll do another search. This time I'll search for hotspot. This component will add a custom hotspot image plus a thumbnail of the panorama. And now I have nicer looking hotspot images that have thumbnail, pop-up images. Now what about saving elements? Well, here's the skin I just made, and I've added a logic block to the hotspot template so that when the panorama spins, the skin fades. I know that I'll want to use this again, so I'll just right-click it here in the tree and choose Create Component from Selection. I can add it to the User Defined category, but I'll add a new one and call it Pop-ups. I'll give it a title and save it. Now I can give it some tags and a description. And you might want to add as many tags as necessary along with a good description because you might be sharing this component with someone else. My colleague Martin is working on the same project as me and we need the same buttons, so he'll be needing this one. To share it with him, I just need to right-click on the category and choose Open Category Folder in Finder or on Windows Explorer. Here's my component, and I just have to send this file to Martin, and all he has to do is double-click it, and it'll be added to his Components Toolbox. You can also share your components on our forum, or simply download the ones provided.